The farm has this quality to it of healing and peace and renewal and just a place of, I will go as far as to say, miracles. These kids, they've never had any kind of experience like this before. They've never been in the country. They've never had a dog of their own, per se, that they could really train like this. And I think for them, it builds their confidence. It softens the rough edges a little bit for some of them, I think. What was it that you and Wendy did together so that she could do better when she was having trouble? Compliment her, tell her that she did good, and focused on her. You can step back and watch the interaction between the kids who come here with, with such barriers and walls, and the dogs break them down immediately. It's all about just the dog at the moment. My name is Daisy, and she's like five years old, and she like, I used to get pet on her stomach. She's a good dog. She likes to eat. She's very fun to be with. I like her. And the key to success here is connecting hearts, and it's connecting the hearts of the children with the hearts of the dog. It's a relatively easy thing to do because these kids are in need of this and they're looking for it. And the dogs, of course, they're looking for an opportunity to rejoin uh, with another human, another person. CBS presents Lifting Their Spirits, Camps for At-Risk Children. The narrator is Ted Holmes. Glen Highland Farm is a nonprofit border collie rescue organization in upstate New York. Once a working horse farm, the land is now a sanctuary for abandoned, abused, and neglected border collies, all in need of adoption. We have border collies here in rescue that are generally high energy and generally um, very intense. We get a spectrum of dogs because they have come from odd situations, a lot of them, where somebody's thrown them in the basement because they can't handle the energy or put them in a crate for 15 hours because they don't know what to do to manage them. Or they haven't met their needs emotionally. These dogs want a job. They want to be connected to someone. Since 2001, the farm has rescued and placed nearly 900 dogs into loving homes. But during the month of August, the farm opens its gates to at-risk youth from the New York City area. It's a unique summer program called Camp Border Collie for Kids. The kids work one-on-one -on -one with the farm's rescued border collies, feeding, training, and caring for the dogs while learning the virtues of compassion and nonviolence. John Anderson is the owner of the farm and director of the camp. We are quite aware of the fact that animal-assisted therapy has worked with uh, in prisons and in hospices. So we knew that the animals could help the children who were living in distressed and, and difficult situations. And we were quite familiar with what border collies were capable of because we came here with, I think, six at the time of our own, uh, two of whom were ultimately therapy dogs. The program is a welcome reprieve from the harsh reality of their everyday lives. In the particular case of the inner city kids, they need relief. They need relief from fear. They live in a life that has a lot of heaviness to it. And the dogs will offer them joy, a lightness, a way of being happy about life. These are abused, neglected, abandoned kids for the most part who are coming from broken families. They are disadvantaged economically. They're all minorities and they're living in really difficult environments in terms of the inner city, where violence in many cases is an accepted way of life. Violence towards animals, violence towards humans. So their life is a troubled and difficult one. It's an easy thing for the, for the kids to see that the dogs have come from a place that maybe is not too different from where they're coming themselves. The dogs just accept you right off the bat, and for anybody, that's a heartwarming experience. For the last seven years, the farm has provided a much-needed spiritual oasis for both kids and dogs. We never purchased the land for ourselves. That wasn't the intent. Both Lily and I felt that the land, when we found the right place, was going to be open to uh, people for healing and for dogs for healing for the same purpose. The land is quite special. It has a long history that traces back to... Native Americans, actually, the Iroquois tribe, part of the five nations who inhabited this land. So there is a substantial spirituality to the land, and we try and impart that to the kids while they're here in terms of walking softly on the earth, respect for all creatures, 
and, uh, and we try to bring some of the Native American traditions into the program with the kids. The desire to work with inner city kids came from John's own childhood experience growing up in Chicago. I grew up in the inner city in Chicago in a very tough neighborhood. At 11 years old, my best friend and I were walking to school. He was stabbed to death in front of me. Uh, and uh, as a kid, I had to go home through alleys and so forth to avoid the gangs who would always wait for you and take your stuff and beat up on you and so forth. So that was the beginning of my childhood. He eventually left Chicago, went on to become a successful CEO for several multi-million dollar companies, but he never forgot where he came from. I intended to come back someday and put together a program that uh, could help these kids see that there was another way to look at life. After many years, the corporate fast track began to take its toll. It looks a lot less like success than it is, and, and you begin to get uncomfortable with it. So it was a gradual process. He and his wife, Lily, gave up their lucrative careers in corporate America and made a mutual commitment to a life of service. I was looking for a different set of meanings in life. Uh, that led me to a, a lot of uh, study and a lot of exposure to different ways of looking at life, in particular Eastern philosophies. I studied with many different Buddhist teachers and became convinced that the Buddhist philosophy made more sense for me. Today he's a practicing Buddhist, a spiritual philosophy that inspires his life and the life on the farm. It's the principles of kindness, compassion, patience and understanding that I think is a way of life let us here and hopefully prevail in how we live here and it's not complicated and the dogs reinforce that for us every day I mean we're fortunate to live here with uh, 50 60 dogs who constantly remind us about what the real values in life are and how to behave as spirits both Lily and I believe that, that we don't necessarily select the dogs they select us and we believe they're here to help humans uh, who are in trouble due to the kind of environment and stress and, and value systems in which we are brought up and live. Do I believe they're spiritual? Yes. Do I believe they're teachers? Yes. And do I believe they're here to help us? For sure. You know, All we have to do is say okay. Lifting Their Spirits will return after this message. The kids will sit and talk to the dogs at times about things that they can't talk to, teachers, social workers, or parents. You just can see that uh, they're craving for uh, someone to sit with them, stand with them, be with them. And when they put their arms around the dogs, you know, and say, thank God you're here, you're my friend. And they're having a conversation, and you know that conversation is about something that they needed to talk about. Pretty neat. Perfect spot right here. Here at Camp Border Collie for Kids, inner city at-risk youth are spending time in nature, learning the principles of compassion, nonviolence, and patience, all with the help of man's best friend. You be nice to your dog, you should be nice to people because it's just not right being mean to somebody. And at this camp, they don't like people being mean and like everybody be a team together and help the dogs. The rescue dogs are readied for adoption as they work one-on-one -on -one with the children. When we start the kids program, there's a part of me that gets excited because I know that the dogs, when they're with the kids, will start to get ready. Because something happens with these children.